Um, just going back at the footage of that uh, the final play against Golden State, like how frustrated are you with that whole situation? And, and does it feel like you've been in another another city? Does it feel like Sacramento is a little different in like, that regard? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we set our piece after that game. Um, Coach Brown talked about it after the game. I think we talked about it yesterday. I'm sure everyone's seen it at this point. Uh, we got to put it behind us. Obviously, it was a frustrating play. Um, if you're wearing a Sacramento Kings uniform, so we got to put it behind us. Um, and obviously, look forward to the time. Uh, is there an emphasis in any way to like earn that benefit of the doubt long term, just by, by winning games? Obviously, we'll see. I mean, yeah, you got to win. You got to win. You got to earn respect in the league. You do that by winning. Um, yeah, we we brought attention to the last two plays that we thought didn't go our way, and. Uh, just moving on, got to trust it moving forward. Kind of piggybacking on that, is it one of those you just got to leave it so that way there's no doubt it doesn't come down to the last second play? Is that, does that have to be the mindset for you all? Yeah, obviously. You know, we had, we had a lot of opportunities in that game to win. Um, obviously had a lead that got away from us, but um, yeah, there's a lot of different things. Games don't always come down to one play. Has it, has it been an adjustment for you to get the amount of shots up that you're getting up now? A little bit. I mean, it's stuff that you work on all off season. Um, you, know, you want to be in an offense that can generate shots for you. So, you know, I'm just trying to take advantage of the opportunity. And then as a group, how do you assess kind of how your offense has been so far, and, and where do you hope it can end up? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's been a work in progress. Um, your offense, obviously, there's a lot of movement. We're trying to play fast, um, trying to become a point where you can't really scout us, and it's a lot of reads. And, um, the players have to be smart. Uh, have to be smart and know how to play off each other. So it's a work in progress. I think it'll get better as the season goes on. You had that four game road trip. Now you're back home just for one game, but how nice is it to kind of relax back in, in your home digs for a minute? Yeah, it was nice to be home yesterday. Uh, yeah, we got out of the gym yesterday. Obviously, we're, we're traveling for a while, so glad to be back in front of our home crowd. With the two games you dropped on the road, is it is it hard not to wonder about the things you can't control versus the things you can control in those beats? Yeah, I mean, but that, that's life. You know, you, you try to only control what you can. Um, those things are behind us now. Obviously, it's, it's a long season, 82-game season. Those are just two games, and so you can't harp on those all year. Obviously. When you look at the Warriors game, you played them early in the season. You played them again already, and now you've got them again this coming Sunday. Is it kind of interesting to see how you guys progress through these three games against them? Yeah, we thought, uh, we thought last game was a lot better. Our, our effort level, our energy level, the way we played them, um, Obviously had a had a chance to win that first game. We were mostly out of that game, and uh, our bench really brought us back into it and had an opportunity to win that. And uh, this game was a lot better. Obviously had a lead, had every opportunity to win, and couldn't get it done. So uh, yeah, we obviously we got Cleveland tonight, but yeah, we got another chance out of Sunday. Obviously, results are, are the most important thing, and this isn't like a moral victories question. But but do you guys feel like in, in terms of the way you're playing, you guys are headed in the right direction? Yeah, that's something we've talked about. Is is not getting down. Uh, We've had opportunities to win, I think, almost every game we've been in. I don't think maybe that Golden State one was the first one, but uh, yeah, we think we're better than our record has shown, and we just got to keep proving it. Yeah, stay together, stay with it. It's a long season. How do you capitalize on that? How do you stick with it in the face of some frustrating losses? Starts in practice, obviously, continuing to build on and do what we do. Uh, worry about the things we can obviously control. You know, take every new opponent. It's just one game at a time. Have another really good opportunity to get a win home. How do you look at uh, the Cavs and just the, the kind of the challenges they pose for the Yeah, I mean, they're they're one of the best teams in the NBA. Uh, their record shows that. I think the personnel shows that. They've, um, you know, they've they've won a lot of really good games so far, have a lot of really good players, so it's going to be a big challenge for us. What's the biggest challenge in you know an offense of, like you guys run with so much movement and passing against a defense that's so long? Like, what, what are the focuses you guys have to have? Yeah, just length can take you out of things offensively. Uh, they can switch. I think Mobley being at the four and uh, you can play Dean Wade at the three and sometimes playing Mobley and, and, and Love and Allen together. Um, it definitely, it, there's some problems that go along with that, but you know, I think a big part of us is our movement. It's uh, making those guys work, trying to get Mobley out of the paint, you know, trying to bring Caleb out of the paint, trying to bring you know, Allen out of the paint. It's uh, making those guys move the feet and guard us. Do you, do you see many teams like them uh, to have that type of length and that, that pose that type of problem? I think really them, Orlando, maybe Minnesota. You, know, you kind of look at it as the bigger teams in the in the NBA. The Lakers might be up there if they go big, um, but they are. I mean, even just playing against them last year, we had them in that playing game, and I think they had marketing and, and you know they're the one of the best defenses in the league last year before they hit injuries, and I think they're number two again this year. So uh, defensively, they're elite. Offensively, they have guys who are elite. So it's uh, it's a big problem.
Have you been surprised by your guys' own sort of positional versatility like we've seen at the two and the four? Not really. That's yeah. That was something that we worked on in training camp. Uh, you saw a super small lineup for his last game. I think I was out there with TD, Davion, and, and Fox, and uh, you've seen Keegan and HB and Trey Lyles and those guys on the court together. So it's a uh, you know it's a roster. It's a roster obviously has versatility. I think we knew that coming into the season. Thank you. Thank you.